Hi guys, it's Hef. I am back again. This is part five of my makeup collection. This is another draw. This is like the next drawdown in my uh, thing. If you want to see how my makeup is kind of situated, then you can watch the first video in this series because I kind of do a quick overview. There's not a huge amount in this particular draw, um, and it is pretty much mostly eyeshadow stuff. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. So the first thing that we have in here, this is the Essence Happy Girls uh, Pretty Eyeshadow Palette. Um, I got this from Tamara J because she decided she didn't want it. Um, this one is number two, Happiness is Following Your Heart. It is just a really basic neutral type palette. The only thing is the only matte one is actually the lightest one which if you want a matte transition shade does not really work because that's too light even for me on my pasty pasty skin. Um, but it is a nice pretty one and I, it's actually ironic that she gave it to me because it's got knitting on it and she likes to knit and crochet. But there you go. She decided she didn't want it so she sold it to me. Uh, the next one is the Astralis Paparazzi Perfect High Definition Shadow. She started panning this at one stage and did not succeed. It is super duper shimmery. There's a big dent in the dark one and a little bit of a dent in the orangey one and the light one. Um, it's just so shimmery. It's so hard to work with. It did not make me happy. I'm, you know, maybe I should de-stash, but I feel like I should make more of an effort to actually use it first before I get rid of it. Because um, my idea of de-stashing is to throw away. Not everybody's idea of de-stashing, I know, but that is mine. Um, this is the Go Palette in Cairo from Coastal Scents. This came in a beauty subscription. This is just a very basic, neutral kind of palette. It has some mattes, it has some shimmers. I basically have not touched this. I haven't used it for any eye looks or anything like that. I swatched a few of the colours but that is it. So it's basically brand new. Um, and then we have my Models Prefer oh, Shadows Tin um, in Day to Night Shadows. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you would actually recognize this. This was the one that I was panning um, last year, or attempting to pan, and failed miserably. <laughs> there are some shadows that I did uh, hit pan on, or you know, do pretty well on, um, like the dark brown and the one called Overtime. I used that so much. Um, there's dents in a lot of them. Um, there's one voicemail looks like it, I've almost hit pan and it probably wouldn't be far off hitting pan. Uh, one day I will go back to it. I'm just a bit over it. Um, this is basically supposed to be a dupe for one of the naked ones. The only problem is is that the shadows are not the same kind of quality. Um, there's a lot of like lumpiness to them, which I'm not sure if you can tell just by looking at them. But they're a bit weird and lumpy. Um, but yeah. So that's that one. Then I have this one from Miller and More. This is actually like a multi palette. So it has a whole bunch of eyeshadows on that side. And then a whole bunch of eyeshadows on that side. And it has... Oops three blushes there and some dinky tools that I wouldn't use anyway and then it has oops, um, a mirror some lip glosses and I think that is supposed to be a bronzer although you know powder product next to cream product never a particularly good idea this is actually not bad um, I actually gave one away to one of my friends um, well, she happened to be my friend, but she was she's a subscriber, um, and she won a giveaway, and she ended up with one of these. Um, I quite like it. I just I have so much that I just don't use it. Basically, is, is the problem. And then I have let's just put these ones back. 
I have the Z palette that I got from Girly Cosmetics at the trade show um, beauty convention thing that I went to. Um, unfortunately, I think these are the ones where there's no name on the actual shade, shadows. Yeah, they have like a number on the back of them. Um, which I'm sure if I went on the site and looked them up, I could find out what they actually are. Because um, they do actually have names. I just don't know what they are and I can't remember what they actually are. But they're all really, really interesting kinds of shadows. I haven't really used them a lot. But this, this one here is a matte eyeshadow. What's interesting is that uh, this one here... I think it's this one here is the highlighter. It's one of these two is a highlighter. Um, and they're exactly the same size. Yeah, Golden Glow is supposed to be kind of like a bronzer, but it's also a highlighter, in my opinion. Um, and, oh, might be another one. Um, I really can't remember. It's been a while. It's been like a year. Um, but they are the, the highlighter bronzer type thing, which is exactly the same size as all of these shadows are. <laughs> and these shadows are not, they, these are bigger than um, Makeup Geek. These are halfway between the sizes of their eyeshadow and their um, blush. So these are actually huge pans of eyeshadow. So, yeah. I don't regret buying them. I, I certainly don't regret buying them. Because they're really nice. Oh, okay. There you go. I found it. That one's actually the bronzer. That's a light bronze. And that one over there, that's the highlighter. Um, I have three mattes down here. The rest have a certain amount of shimmer to them. Um, but they're all really, really interesting. And, like... Yeah. There's nothing, um, <laughs> they're really nice shadows. I just haven't really used them very much. I really need to pull these out more often and actually use them, seeing as I went to the expense of buying them and the Z palette. And the last thing that is in this box is my Lorac Mega Pro. This is the original, original one, original, original one. Um, this was the only one that was actually easy for Australians to actually get unless you had friends in America um, because all the rest have been like ultra exclusives or whatever and it's really hard to get that kind of stuff in Australia. Um, this is actually my first high end, these were my first high end shadows and I've probably only used this palette once or twice. Um, I've done a bit of swatching and that's about it. I just don't reach for it. Um, probably because I'm trying to work through some of my older shadows and yeah. And also because it's like, you know, it's this high-end palette. This cost me like $70 or something. Um, and so it's kind of like I don't want to like use it too fast, but I really should use it. So, yeah. But at least I can say I have one little Florac because I don't have any other high-end um, Powers at all, except for like my makeup geek, which I guess some people want to class as high end, but anyway. So that is everything that is in that particular one. This is going to be a nice short video in comparison to the last couple. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you want to see more of my stuff, then click the subscribe button down below and then you'll get them in your feed. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail, uh, nail makeup inventory type videos and leave me a comment down below i try to respond to all comments and i will see you in my next video see ya